<laughs> Just for cruising around. Jeez, Brucey. He never gives up. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Brucey, Brucey, Brucey. Brucey. Yep. Bull shark, testosterone, entrepreneur. <laughs> Trying to help us all out to be winners. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back for another episode of Grand Theft Auto Online. Yeah, our first episode of uh, 2019, so Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah, so let's hop back in the car here. This is our uh, Christmas car from last year, actually, the Albany Hermes. Another muscle car. It's actually a hidden, like it's a lowrider. I call it hidden because you don't have to take it to Benny's to, uh, for it to be a lowrider as you watch. It just goes down all on its own. Built-in hydraulics, pretty cool. So that was the Christmas car last year, and still a good car to buy. Um, and now they've given us a new car, which we're going to go and work on today. Yeah, as you can tell by my t-shirt, my vapid t-shirt. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to get ourselves the vapid click. Well, we already did actually for Christmas. So now we're going to get it ready. So for those of you who don't have one or are just starting or maybe didn't get the chance to get one, you can find it under Legendary Motorsport, which is kind of unique. A lot of the uh, muscle, other muscle cars are uh, quite often under uh, uh, Southern San Andreas Super Autos. So there's the vapid click right there. And it's part of the arena war. Seats too. Nine thousand dollars. Now, uh, it is a collector's car, so it's a little bit on the pricey side, if you ask me. It's not too expensive, but it is a little bit pricey compared to uh, its muscle car brethren. But I suppose it is what meant to be kind of a collector car of sorts. So in the 50s, the vapid click was one thing an anxious parent didn't want to see pulling up outside the wet white picket fence on prom night. That haze of post-war confidence and unfiltered cigarette meant, smoke meant only one thing. And you could be sure its intentions were not honorable. <laughs> this lovingly reconstructed model brings modern power and modern reliability without losing a single drop of the dog whistle bigotry that makes this car the classic that it is. And there she is, the Bappy Click. All right, so we already got one for Christmas for free. Yay, so hopefully some of you guys got a chance to get one for uh, Christmas too. Yeah, so that was on December 25th. If you logged in on that day, you uh, you got a free car. Now, I wasn't sure if it would stay, but it seems to work for other people. So if you logged in that day and forgot about it or didn't notice it, it should still be free for you. So you'd have to go there and check and check that it doesn't show a price. Here, I'll show you my buzzard, actually, because I already owned a buzzard and I was a little disappointed. They gave us a free buzzard this year, and I was really hoping that it would give us a kickback of money for those of us that had already bought it. Even half the price I would have been happy with, right? But no, no gift for us. Uh, buzzard, 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 buzzard. So there it is right there. And it still says free for me, even after the holiday. So as you can see, vehicle is available for free as a holiday gift for Rockstar. Now I can't get it. It just gives me an error that I already own it whenever I try. But uh, you might want to check the Vapid Click to make sure that it doesn't say free for you. And if it shows any kind of price, then it's not free. Yeah. Well, there it is. So I thought we'd start the new year with something new. I didn't get the chance over the holidays. I was kind of busy over the holidays to get into it, but I did get the chance to get on here and there and uh, grab some of these, see these uh, gifts. Yeah, there it is in the holiday wrap and everything. <laughs> Very awesome. So let's hear what she sounds like. I think I started up in my news episode when I got up. I can't remember. Yep. Nice muscle car burr. Exhausts on the side, dual exhausts. Yeah. So this is a uh, 1951 Ford, a Ford coupe. It's a basically a vintage coupe, even though it's a muscle car. And it uh, seems to be based on uh, um, uh, Bruce Levin's coop. So you guys might want to look it up or I'll try to remember actually. I think I got to put, put it in the news episode too. But uh, there's an article I found that it uh, was pretty interesting about Bruce Levin's car. And if you look it over and you look over all the details, it's pretty obvious to me anyway that this is the, the main inspiration that Rockstar uses. Rockstar quite often does that. Like they do a car, but they quite often find somebody's car that for whatever reason inspired maybe one of the designers or they just thought it was unique or cool. And they'll uh, quite often style that particular car that way. And as people know, they quite often mesh different cars together as it is. So, yeah, whether that's just to be creative or to avoid uh, copyrights, it's hard to say. <laughs> Maybe both. So, yeah, it's uh, part of the uh, first post-war Big Three model, 1949 Shoebox Ford. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, and a, lot of, and a lot of people like it as a collector model. So Bruce Levin was a guy who, uh, who always wanted one as a boy and couldn't get one for many reasons I can't remember but probably just can't afford it and you're a young man. So 
later on in life he got one and rebuilt it and they built a really cool version and as i was showing on the news episode but for those of you who missed it there's a you can see the pod work here we'll look in again later but you can see how the uh, the gauges are kind of lifted and almost like oh, little pods and stuff on there and the bruce levin's car is also very much like that so another giveaway that they seem to be inspired by that so let's take it out and get it upgraded As a stock car, she's already got some go. She comes with fancy uh, stock rims too. Nothing particularly special, but they already have the Atomic logo on them and some design work and a little bit of uh, chrome shine, I suppose. Hello there. Yeah. So not, not a normal stock tire for those of you that might want to keep it. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to change mine this time. But that is a unique stock tire nonetheless. Let's open it up. Right here is a good spot. Yeah, nice engine. It's got the paintwork on the inside. And the aircraft style uh, seating. You can see the rivets on it and everything. So that's another giveaway that it's uh, the Bruce Levin inspired car. But a lot of cars in the game have that kind of aircraft design inside the hot rods. It's pretty cool. You have Vapid uh, written on the, uh, on the seat belts. The safety harness. <laughs> cool. Yeah, little buttons on the top there too. Yeah, nice. Lots of light work on the uh, on the dashboard there. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Yeah, you can see all the lighting work. All right, let's close it up and take it into our office shop. Very cool. I <laughs> just can't seem to do wheelies in stock. I'm trying. She's trying. <laughs> <laughs> but she lifts up the front a little bit, but doesn't quite wheelie out. Not yet, anyway. We'll see when she when she comes back out. We'll see. So I think we'll take her into the office uh, mod shop today. It's right here, and I feel like going in there. It's a nice view. Good view to start the new year. It's a nice vintage collector car. All right. Very cool. Oh, should have just gone right into the mod shop. It kicks you out anyway, so you kind of have to get back in anyway. In we go. What she need then? Everything. 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 What are you after? All right. So let's give it some armor for a hundred percent. Hundred percent armor for fifty thousand, I should say. And maybe we should go right to uh, changing the look of it. Unwrap it, basically. <laughs> so, Merry Clickmas. There, very cool. All right, so there she is, none. Do you need a drink? Just a classic red. Or something? Cool. Classic stripe. Vapid stripe. And I'm actually thinking about this one. I like this one. I think I've seen it in a couple of pictures. Just a nice, clean livery. Vapid down below. Yeah. Jockey's Lager. Yep, Jackie's Lugger. Strong. <laughs> Today's the benchmark for Lugger. Drink outdoors, the Jackies. <laughs> Hipster 17. Cool. What's it got down there? Elda Stylo. Scooter Bros Racer. So, Scooter Brothers. <laughs> Scooter Brothers. <laughs> Uh, that's a very funny thing from Trevor. Hopefully some of you guys know what I mean from single player, but some of you may not. But Trevor had funny cutscenes basically. Every time you'd go to him, he'd be doing something in the middle of a car chase or dressed up funny or drunk or throwing people off bridges or all kinds of crazy stuff every time you'd switch over between the characters to him. 
And Scooter Brothers was one of the things that you could get. She'd be driving along in a scooter with another scooter, talking to them. Scooter Brothers, we're Scooter Brothers. And if you ever get to get that in single player and you haven't done it before, it's a good idea to uh, to um, keep playing it out. You'd be I think it continues on for a good 20, 10, 20 minutes of them going back and forth if you let it. <laughs> you know, Every now and again you think it's done and then they'll start talking about being Scooter Brothers some more. So there's Classic Racer, 84. And we went through the Premier Racer there a moment ago. Yep, Rim Paint Racer. And remember, you can change the background color, you know, and do different designs. Like you could get a green that matches that green and it would look kind of different. Vapid Motor Company. Rim Paint. It's not bad. Arrow Racer. Classic look. Los Santos Racer. There's a nice clean look. Number seven. Schmidt and Press. Nice. And the Merry Clickmas. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I do like that classic Vapid Stripes. I might go with that one. Yeah, I think I will. I'll just pick it for now. 19,380 for that. All right. Unwrapped car. Yay. <laughs> Let's put our plate on there. Miss and Zog. Yellow and black. All right. Oh, no, not done. Back up to the top, though. Bodywork. Remove side trim. That's cool. So you can give it a cleaner look. Remove headlight trim. Remove all trim. Oh. Well, I'll come back to that. Not sure which one I like. Race brakes for thirty-five thousand. That I'll stop. How many cars you engine level four, thirty-three thousand five hundred. Now that's some kind of engine. Mm -hmm. She's happier now. Bumpers, front bumpers, classic bumper. So stock is apparently no bumper really. So classic bumper, retro bumper, racing bumper, bicycle click bumper. That's funky. Do you need a Different. Bubbles or something? And the racing bumper. Mm. Okay, let's come back to that in a second. And rear bumper. We're going to go to grill. It's all the same spot right now, the front. So remove indicators. Open grill. Which gives it a meaner muscle car look sometimes. Three bars. Classic grill. Bullet grill. Double barrel Whatever grill. Custom death grill. Custom right. death grill. <laughs> well, that's cool. Different. I do like the open. But I don't know if I can resist a custom death grill. I was going to go for a meaner look than kind of a Bruce Levin inspired. Like his is kind of a silver gray, but I think I was going to go a little bit more metal. Think long. A little bit darker, perhaps. A little bit more muscle. But his is pretty muscle. But Death Girl, and it's not very expensive, 4100 Girl is looking good. Why not? All right, now back to, let's go to that bumper. And front bumper. I was thinking about the racing bumper before. But the bicycle click bumper is kind of cool. You don't see a bumper like that every day. That one kind of matches pretty well. Pretty good. The retro bumper. Classic bumper and none. Hmm. That's a hard one. But I think I might actually go with the retro. But they all look pretty good. And I do like the different one. But I think overall that looks better. Retro bumper for 7,400. Let's go over to the rear bumper for a moment. Classic bumper. Covers up the grill, apparently. Retro bumper. Racing bumper. And bicycle click bumper. I think I'm going to do the bicycle on the back here. Just adds a little touch of detail and it doesn't cover up the mesh. I don't like how these ones cover up the mesh. Yeah. So 14,500 for that little bar. Right. Bodywork. So 
then remove, remove, just the headlight trim. And none at all. No rush at all. Hmm. I might kind of like that chrome work. I might leave it. Chassis. Stock chassis. Sports chassis. Hmm. That changes the interior quite a bit. Got a whole roll cage, different chairs. Yep. The roll cage goes right underneath. How many cars you got in this garage again? Bars in the front. Alright, and coffee, yes, coffee gummy. Mm. I think I'm gonna go and go with the sports chassis. But it'd be nice if they gave us more choices, because I do like the stock look. It'd be nice if we had something in between. I like those chairs a little bit better. Need a drink? Bubbles but we're gonna go with the uh, meaner race car, so sports chassis She's it is. She is a beauty. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we already picked our engine and our grill. Hood. Remove hood. Mmm, nice. And it kind of wiggles along happily. Brum, brum. Oh, it's hard to zoom in at the same time as rubbing it up. Ah, yes, the bi-spoke hood straps. I think I will get those. Another giveaway that it's the Bruce Levin's car. Not that that really matters, but uh, but his had the leather straps and retro, retro hookups like that. Which I think is pretty cool. Not every day you get something like that. I don't know if there's any other cars or too many cars that have stuff like that. So, 5,000 for that. Yeah, horn, we don't need a horn. What's a stock horn, though, sound like? Oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, classic horn. Lights, I don't think I'm going to get any colored lights for this one. All right, bring it to the arena for the colored lights you can get now. But you could give it a meaner red look or something, but... And I might do that with some of my other cars in the past, and some new cars. I think this one just regular Xenon's fine. Mm. No neon kit, at least for now. Mirrors. So there's our mirrors. Racing mirrors. Mm. Put them to the front. Retro mirrors. Well, that's cool. That's different. Hmm. If you can think it, I can do it. Oh, three of them are pretty good choices. I kind of like the uh, the racing mirrors actually, but uh, the retro is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, very different. So I'm gonna go with that because I like the different. Yeah, fifteen thousand for that, or fifteen hundred, I should say, nice and cheap. And plate we already picked, and there's no other plate options. Spoiler: by spoke trunk straps. And you do want this. So as you guys can see, the traction does increase just a little bit. See that little tiny little blue thing show up under traction? So that's basically your spoiler. So you don't necessarily need it, but if you want the extra little bit of traction, and traction usually means speed, um, you know, traction more or less equals speed. So you do want that. 7,050. I think it looks cool anyway, so I would have picked it anyway, but, uh, but that is definitely your spoiler. So you do want something there. If you want the best it can do. All right, suspension. Lowered, street, sport, competition. But no, we want race. <laughs> race suspension. Not all cars can go all the way down. Some of them only have a few levels. So this one can go all the way down. Nice. That gives it a very low profile. Yeah, 4,600. <laughs> transmission. Super transmission. Wow. And yet again, like I said, some cars only go so far down. Most of them to race transmission. This one goes to a super transmission for 50,000. Nice. Indeed. Turbo tuning for 50,000. Stick to the speed limit. I'm joking, of course. That's never a funny joke when she says it. <laughs> Lemo tint. Hmm. Maybe I should check the respray before we do that, though. Okay, and that is all the main options. So let's go into the respray. Primary, trim, and crew emblem. So you only have a primary and a trim color. So let's check out that trim color. Life is hard when you can have anything. Let's go outside here. Yeah, put something a little bit brighter so we can tell the difference. 
There's ice white in there. Okay, so it's your roof. And the bottom of your interior. Let's go inside here. So yeah, just that bottom piece that you guys can barely see at the bottom of my screen there. And your roof color. But that's cool. That's alright, gives us something. So I think it's black right now for me. We'll come back to that. Primary color. There it is all grown. <laughs> Which is a bit much. But very shiny. And I actually think about metals for this. So there's brushed steel. Done a lot of metals lately and I wanted to avoid it, but then along comes this car that looks good in it. So <laughs> I usually go with what's good, even if it is what I've done a lot of recently. Brushed black steel. Very cool. Brushed aluminum. Pure gold. Do you need a drink? And brushed Bubbles gold. Or something? And now into the colors. There's metallic black. Very nice. I'm gonna just change those windows after all right now. I like a nice tinted window. See the black there just looks or the red now with the black just looks that much meaner. That's really nice and red actually. It'd be good just like that. With the stock tire and everything. And the pure black. thinking about maybe something like that, like an anthracite black too. Something that almost hides the library, but you can still kind of see it there. Just a little bit. Black steel, dark steels, brighter silvers, reds, grease red, blaze red, sunset red, Cabernet red. Hmm. It's actually not too bad on there. Wine red. Makes a nice wine red. Yep, nice dark, but still red. Black red. Candy red. Feister pink. Salmon pink. If you can think it, Sunrise orange. Can That's a pretty race car. Orange is even more so. Brighter. Some golds. And bronze. Yellows, race yellows, two yellows, and greens. Sea green. That's not bad at all on there either. Nice classic color. Olive green. Bright green. Lime green. Midnight blue. Ooh, she looks nice in midnight blue. Galaxy blue. Dark blue, Saxon blue, blues. Life is hard when you can have anything. Mariner blue, Harbor blue. Hmm. Yeah, nice classic color. Harbor blue is one of those colors that doesn't always look good, but it actually looks all right. Matches the car. Diamond blue, surf blue, nautical blue. Yeah, a lot of the sharp blues look really good. Racing blue. No rush at all. Chocolate browns. Creek browns. Feltzer brown. Beechwood brown. Sienna brown. Moss brown. Straw brown. It's kind of a nice one on some certain cars. Nice classic car color. Bleached brown. Quite a few now. I have to do that showcase one of these days. <laughs> I still want to put more in. Wait, the showcase is missing this car and that car. I gotta fix that. <laughs> Ice wine. Ice white, I should say. Frost white. Lava red. Hot pink. And gasoline green. Do you need a drink? Bubbles? All right. So lots of good choices in there. Lots and lots of really good choices. I think it looks great in the red that we have it in. I think it looks great in the blues. Um, lots of the classic car colors. 
we've, we've talked before in some other episodes how a lot of these off colors really look good on certain old muscle cars you know like the moss greens and stuff like that things that you may not use very often really look good on some of these older cars especially one like this Whatever yeah. you so if you want to be something different Technology you can go with something like that too minute. and the metals that i was mentioning before i think look great on this too and i was actually looking for something yeah one of these days for a brushed aluminum maybe i'll do the deluxo in that when i finally get around to that <laughs> All right, so I was thinking about that anthracite black, but this brushed steel is nice too. Some matte colors, which it can definitely pull off too. Be more rugged racer. Sometimes you can give it like a almost not painted paint job, you know, like it's missing the uh, the varnish. A shiny coat, so something like that, light gray. Gives it that almost shop unfinished look. Yet it is, because you can see all the chrome trim. That's nice. And you can do the matte pearlescent trick that we've done before. It only works in the Los Santos uh, uh, garages right now, Los Santos custom garages. So it doesn't seem to work reliably in the other garages that I've seen anyway. But I looked at those and I think they're nice, but I think I might actually go with that silver that I was thinking originally anyway. So let's have a look at there. The anthracite black is nice. But that stone silver caught my eye. Hmm. Life is hard when you can have anything. Dark steel works well. Black steel. No rush at all. Yeah. Between the anthracite black and the black steels, it becomes more of a silver or more of a black. Hmm. Well, that's our choice. How many cars you got in this garage again? Maybe I will go somewhere in the middle. That stone silver. It's basically got the best of both worlds. It's not too silver like that, and it's not too black as the anthracite black is. I do like it though. That's maybe a little too much. If I was gonna go that, I might as well go all the way back. Which is nice. Bubbles or something? I think that stone silver might do the great job right in between Your the two. Thanks. All right, trim color is already graphite. I could color it up a little bit, but I don't think I really need to. I might just change it to black. Almost the same as the graphite, really. Technology and budget permits. Could do the stone silver to match it. Yeah, I think I might actually. Bodywork to match the driver. Yeah, a little bit more all in one piece, you know, built as one one part, <laughs> solid cockpit. Yeah. All right, so I think that is all the main things except for the wheels. And I do like those stock tires, but I think I'm gonna change them. Mm, all kinds of uh, tires would go well with this, white wall tires, all kinds of things. But I think I'm gonna go with a, a nice, uh, maybe even a chrome muscle. So I don't use too much chrome. But this car's already got a lot of chrome highlights. I was thinking about giving it a little bit more. Black top's not bad, because then we get the extra little black detail. Kind of goes with our livery a little bit. And yet, it's like a colored chrome, basically. 
but it's only colored black. <laughs> that's it. That's your own choice, but still, that works for me for this one. Mecca. Nice too. Yeah, there'd be Dukes in here, nor Muscle Freak. Yeah, that's the one. It looks good on some cars. Yeah, with the black, black bottom. And you can color that too on the stock ones. Get some interesting combinations. Yeah, but I think I'm going to pick the uh, the black top. I like that. Something different? I don't even know if I have anything with black top. I've got that installed for but you. now I do, for only 77000 <laughs> Only. But they are nice chrome rims. All right. Now, before I move on, uh, let's see. Yeah, it would it would work with a lot of different rims. These are just some of the sport rims. I'd probably suggest some of the uh, maybe tuner rims as well, because then you can do white walls and various other things like that. Nice classic looks. The dash VIPs would also work well. They should be in here somewhere. The Dash VIP shows up in a couple different categories, though. Hmm, they look a little different on this car, being spread out like that. And do they have them? Dash uh, here. and things yeah so you can do some pretty cool combinations gooch <laughs> there's a lot of good rims inside the lowriders one for this one yeah well either way I've picked mine I'm gonna go with a little bit more of a muscle yep the black top Yeah, we'll give it some. What you were for? Give it some little bit of extra detail. Drag radials, bulletproof tires. Now again, you guys might want to think twice about that. I like the bulletproof tires, but uh, if you're into stancing the vehicles as they're called, um, I do believe you still want to not uh, give it bulletproof tires because that actually stops it from being uh, dropped down to an even lower low rider. Yeah. Talk about that in another video, but stancing is kind of you can lower the cars down just a little bit more by damaging them in the right ways. So you can, you know, basically have them scraping along the road, actually, with certain cars. Um, it's been a thing that's been in the game for a long time. But usually, if you add a bulletproof tire to it, it can't be done. So something to keep in mind when you're when you're altering your cars, because I don't think it actually lets you undo it. So bit of a pain that way. Tire smoke, black tire smoke, and we are done. Let's take it outside. Look after yourself. Hmm. Thank you. See you soon. <laughs> Back for more. Whoa. I wasn't even... I wasn't even ready for that. <laughs> Almost morning. Yep, lots of, lots of creaking as you drive along in it. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Now yeah, let's see uh, if we can open it all up and see if anything changed. Oh, I did say everything, didn't I? Yeah, well, apparently those latches keep them closed. Hmm. Yeah. That's too bad, so you can't show off the engine anymore. She's in there, but never to be seen anymore. You can't unlatch it. It'd be nice if you had an E to press, press E to unlatch your engine on. <laughs> I imagine with crashing you can get it to uncover. But yeah, it's too bad you can't uh, 
you can't open it up after. But there are some vehicles like that, that once you put the racing hood on and things like that, they can no longer open. That's it, it's a minor thing. It's not like I really look at it too often anyway. So how much torque do we have? Enough to burn out down the street? Enough to burn out easily, that's for sure. There we go. Yeah, with practice you can get it going. All right. <laughs> Still working on my <laughs> my wheelie skills. No real scraping though. Well, yeah, yeah, there's some scrapes We're right there. Just hard to see them on the silver. Yeah, see? But only a little bit. Not that I really care about that, but certain cars, um, you can do a lot of damage on your rear end doing this. Not that I mind. You know, it's lots of fun. But I like that certain cars have the protection. All right, looks like our bumper helped us a little bit. <laughs> awesome. All right. So that is the Vapid Click, a new collector car. And uh, yeah, definitely a welcome Christmas gift. So. I probably would have bought it actually after I was looking looking at the uh, the story and the uh, the um, the pictures as a collector car, but it's even better as a as a free car. So hopefully you guys got the chance to get it as a free car, and uh, otherwise you can make up your mind on whether or not you think you want to buy it to add to your collection. It is a nice car, and it is a uh, shoebox Ford, which um, to some people is kind of missing from the game. And it's also the second year in a row that we've gotten. Um, uh, Christmas cars from the same time of year, or same years, I should say, same years ish. I think last year's was more or less a 1951. Um, actually, no, yeah, yeah, 49 to 53, something like that for the Hermes, and uh, this one's more or less a 51 to 49. Yeah, so around the same time. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got Van. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's always nice to have people around. All right. The right people, right? The good people. <laughs> I like those little bumper choices, too. All right. Up to our little garage for her. She might stay here. I don't know. I might move her to the arena. I'm not sure. She is an arena war car. And I think it's our first arena war collector car. I think. Yep, that's not like for arena war stuff. All right, very cool. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm the Missing Sock. Thanks for being here. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you again soon for more. I've got more vehicles that I've got to catch up on and uh, more arena war that we got to catch up on and uh, a whole bunch of new stuff, too, that we got to get in the new year. Yeah, get all kinds of stuff going on. And we'll have to see what Rockstar's got in store for the future. Yeah, very cool. Take care, everybody. Happy New Year. <laughs> see you again very soon. Oh, yeah, I did want to see these gauges all turn on when we hop in the car. Let's see. Okay. Got to look in and look over at them really quickly. Oh, yeah, we get some movement. A couple little minor movements. I like little details. <laughs> oh. Hey.
You were in my car, man. What are you doing? He has no chance in his Dominator. None. <laughs> we can play with him. No problem. You got nothing. Nothing. Where are you going? Turning? You're not sure where you're going. <laughs> I think he was thinking about turning. Uh, he wants to stop racing now. Might want to look away. <laughs> you crashed my car first, man. Come here. Come here. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. Where are you going? Oh, were you talking to me while you run away? <laughs> oh, oh, Scary's watching. Scary's watching. Oh, he's. No, oh, yeah, he's tripping. He's tripping. Balls. <laughs> Yeah. Oh! Run, man, run! He's gonna shoot us! Oh! No! Don't dig over there! You guys, this! You guys, this! <laughs> He's still talking shit to me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no! That's right. <laughs> it's just a mighty slap. <laughs> uh, Renter cops. What are they thinking? All right. Well, talk to you later, everybody. I've got to go. Uh, there he is. Let's see if we can get a longer one. Woohoo! Oh, don't scratch my car. <laughs> we definitely have to go. <laughs> wow. That's like a... That's a hell of a boost there. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I just rocketed away there. That's crazy. Some of these cars you hit the the gears it's i don't know it's hard to explain but because they're all there's no real gears exactly in the game right but uh but if you hit it just at the right moment in the gears sometimes so certain cars especially this one seemingly you can just get it to fire away Whoa. but she spins back into into shape right away though too so she's a little loose but um but that might be in a good way if you get good at flipping out and stuff, you can sometimes straighten your stuff up very quickly again. Like I was doing back there. I think we've lost them. <laughs> All right. Hooray, Vapid Click. She's proved her worth on her first time out. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Happy New Year. And I will see you back soon.
Maybe we'll lay low for a little while. <laughs> She's still running. I think she's happy. Well, let her settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Take a nap. Let's go tell Penny all about it. <laughs> Penny, you gotta check this car out. 